Stay black in America. Don't leave. Don't go anywhere. Greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. I'll count our economy alone in this country. 15th largest in the world. The ancestors have been through slavery, reconstruction, all types of Jim Crow laws, all types of racism, all types of violence. Um, civil rights knocked in the door. We achieved. We successful here. Greatest country in the world. Christian country. Greatest white black people in the world. So everybody's trying to come to these shores, this continent of the United States of America. Today is going to be a uh, Know who you are and know who you're not. Um, I've been a businessman, a grocery store, retail grocery store since 1985. Uh, now it's 2022. Back in 2015, I was seeking to diversify and do something different. I wanted to um, build an apartment structure, you know, maybe 40 units, uh, four stories high. So I had to go through all the procedures and learning. You had to do, go through another phase. So first you had to find zoning, or well, what can I build in this particular place? Uh, you know, get together a team of architects, you know, make blueprints up, draw everything, uh, get in touch with a construction company, just to figure out what you can do, get through all the, the city stuff, what you can do, and then, well, the real hard part comes then, uh, you, know, you gotta get some money, you gotta get a loan. Um, you go to a bank, been turned down from a bank, didn't get a loan. Uh, okay, I didn't get a loan, I said, wow, bank won't give me a loan. I'm sitting on millions of dollars of assets, millions of dollars of property, but bank won't give me a loan. So I try to switch to a hard money lender. Well, hard money lender is just what a hard money lender is. Uh, they'll give you terms that are unworkable, terms that you're bound to fail, and you're not going to be successful doing it. I found that out because of uh, talking to construction companies for what I wanted to build, how long it would take, surpass what the hard money lenders time limit he was going to give me because your money is always it's time sensitive so it's always horrible terms so hard money lender will give you what's called a balloon mortgage so if you get a if you get a loan for for six million dollars you're going to pay um six million dollars back at the end of the loan period which is normally shorter than the construction period takes and then you're going to pay all the interest on it why every month while you're paying it so you're stuck in a situation where 90 percent 90 percent chance you're going to lose is a gamble. I'm not a gambler. Couldn't do that. But even before that, you know, talk to developers, you know, because that's what I guess I would have been a developer, trying to develop a place. And everything that, and the definition of a developer is a person who grows or matures a specified time or rate. Does something at a specified time or rate. And that, that's very true because time, money is time. And a rate is a horrible rate. You know, you give them somebody a, uh, between 13 and 18 percent interest rate, balloon payment, he <laughs> making payments on six million dollars every every month like a, like a mortgage. <laughs> You're looking at them almost an impossible task anyway, you know, because like I say, the bank gave up on you. They're not going to give you a loan. Scratch us. We don't really qualify for a loan with us. I mean, you know, like I say, want to see more liquid money in the bank, more this, more that. So you know, they consider it as a risk. When I think they take a lot of risky. Opportunities with other people and they, and they fell with them, but they really fell with others, but they didn't want to take that chance with me. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you look at the definition of a banker, it says one that engaged in business of banking. Yeah, that, that, that's, that doesn't really tell you much, does it? Uh, most of the bankers uh, end up saying no probably 100 times more than they say yes. Yes, well, no, you don't qualify. No, you can't get it. No, they can say no all the time. And, and, and I guess the ones who get qualified, the ones that's in that pipeline, the ones who already had success with, already been through the motions, already got access money and dollars, I guess they're the ones that keep trading the money back and forth, you know, just keep recycling the money back and forth to them if you're not in that in that game, like, you know. So that's why I say, know who you are, know who you're not. I definitely know I'm not a developer. I know I'm not a banker. You know. Construction companies, you know, they want to they, they build something for you. So that's the definition of, of a construction company. It says, a business, enterprise, a business enterprise that constructs buildings or bridges or new stadiums. So they all, it's it about building. They only make money if they're building something. So they'll build anything you want, man. They have no problems with you. If you got the money, they'll build it. But you can't get the money, they can't build it. They're not a loaning institution. They're a construction company. They do the building. They don't loan you any money. You know? So you scratch the banker off, he's not giving it to you, traditional way. The hard money lender, is uh, giving you uh, rates that's impossible for you for you to succeed, pretty much impossible. Uh, private money lender, who has those? 
who who in my circle can lend me six million dollars for for two years for me to, to get a project extended and then wait to reach the profit afterwards? Nobody. So look, stay black in America. Don't leave. Don't go anywhere. Greatest country in the world. Bye.